Saitama has been holding its own even during the bear market. In fact, Saitama has been laying the groundwork to become one of the hottest cryptos in the next upcoming bull run cycle. We'll get into that and more coming up right after this. How's it going, family? Welcome back to the channel. Before we kick things off, let me remind you to go ahead, smash the like button, guys. Hey, we love to tell you to smash the like button because it really helps YouTube to spread the word about this channel. And last but not least, go ahead and subscribe. We would love to welcome you with open arms into the crypto stream family. Now, guys, as I mentioned in the intro of this video, that Saitama has been laying the groundwork to become one of the hottest cryptos, if not the hottest crypto, during the next bull run cycle. Before we get into why I believe this is the case, we must put this into perspective. Let's take a look at Dex 2s and look at some pricing action. Let's take a look at it, guys. Now, if we go over here to Dex 2s, we'll see. Now, I've zoomed out quite a bit here going all the way back at the launch of the v2 contract and we're on a four hour chart here at um dex twos but if we look at this we can see that you know we had that huge that ginormous uptick we almost got to that coveted one cent guys we 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 almost did it we were just shy of that but then you know we saw a free fall um because of that and then we also saw the free fall due to the fact that market conditions man i mean with the war going on in um you know um ukraine and and between russia and so forth um you know that really took a toll on the crypto market and then also the economy uh, with us being in a recession because hey the definition of a recession is two consecutive quarters of negative gdp again that's two consecutive quarters of negative gross domestic product growth and so we've saw that so we technically were in a recession but this last quarter q3 of 2022 we bounced back to the positive side so one could argue to say that hey we were in a recession but are we really still in a recession i'll leave that up to you to debate that's not why we're here but what i want to show you guys is this if we take a look at this price in action i want us to focus in here on september through current in november September, we can see that, you know, we were on an uptrend for a certain part. And then, you know, we've been on a downtrend ever since. But if we go here and we look at around the latter part of September, you can see we we bounced off of this support line, which was two sides. Hoshi's 11. We bounced off of it. One, two. And I would zoom in and say three. And we broke the trend down with there. And we came back up. And it looks to be that we're hovering around that support line again at two Satoshi's 11, two Satoshi's 12 level. So we've been trading sideways in consolidation phase, guys, for the most part of the last month between the two Satoshi's 12, 13 level down all the way to the two Satoshi's or three Satoshi's 9, 7. We did gain a zero, but we've since, um, you know, ate that zero back and we've stayed above water there. So that's positive. Now, if we look at the current um, conditions of Saitama, we can see that we're sitting at around 6.39% down as of the time of this recording over the last 24 hour period. And that puts us around 8.68. So let's just call it around roughly approximately 9% down on the week. Now we got to put this into perspective, guys, because, you know, it's not just Saitama that's down. If we go over here and we look at the whole global crypto market cap, we are now below that $1 trillion price point. Now that $1 trillion is that psychological price point that you want to see to have that confidence to know that we are in good territory, that we could possibly be on our way up to glory. Now, we look at this and we see that we are just shy of that $1 trillion market cap. From a global perspective, we're sitting at 993 and some change billion, right? So that's about 2.28% down um, from 24 hours ago. Now, you may be asking CryptoStream, why do you believe that Saitama is positioning itself for the next bull run? Well, guys, Saitama has been coming out time after time after time with all of the utilities that it promised it would deliver. Now, if we take a pause there and put a pin in that particular statement that I made, I want to draw some more conclusions to that because I want to make it clear for you without a doubt that, yes, the developers are working. The developers are doing their best to bring this project to see glory in all of our pockets. Now, what do I mean by that? What I essentially mean is this. 
if we go back and we take a journey back to the V1 contract, when we, you know, we launched the contract and, and Saitama came out and then we, we flash forward back to November 2021, we were in a position where a lot of people were FOMOing into Saitama. A lot of people were talking about Saitama. And, you know, at that point in time, we had no tangible utilities for Saitama. So it was all on pure hopium. Yes, you heard it right. Hopium. That just simply means that we were hoping that things will go our way as investors of Saitama. That's what I mean. And so essentially, we saw all time highs for Saitama, right? I'm not going to do the math. I'm not going to do the conversion, right? Because we have a total um, circulating supply that's far less than the total supply. In fact, that's far less on the V2 contract than what we had on the V1 contract. So in other words, if you held trillions of tokens under the V1 Saitama contract, you hold millions of tokens now because they killed a few zeros when they implemented and migrated over to that version two contract. Now, with that being said, we saw all time highs for Saitama that made a lot of people millionaires. And that was without having utilities that were on in the market, that were on the market, that were in the marketplace, guys. Now, if we go over here to the official Saitama website, we can see that, look, we have all of these things that were not even out back in November. We have the side of swap. That's valid. That's introduced. It's out there, guys, for your using pleasure. We have the edutainment. This is where we bake in that Saitama Academy. We saw that came out a few months ago, guys. And, you know, that's something that you can you can use to your pleasure to get certified or to learn more about crypto. So that's there. We can check the box on that. We see the Cider Pay That was integrated via ePayMe integration through Cider Pro, And that's allowing you now to purchase crypto using your debit and credit card so no longer do you have to go and worry about buying your crypto on a decentralized platform and then transfer it namely let's take ethereum and binance coin for instance you don't have to go there to binance or, or crypto.com or, or or things of that nature to purchase it and then send it to your wallet and then have to pay fees and all of those things so by the time you get it into your DeFi wallet You've already paid an arm and a leg in fees and transacting fees. You don't have to worry about that anymore. It's integrated seamlessly into Cider Pro running on the back end via ePayMe. And then Cider Realty, that token came out now. That's something they're still working on, implementing that. And then you see the Wolfcaster games. Word came out that there was a pause in the development of that because they wanted to focus on the Cider Swap, the edutainment, Cider Pay, and Cider Realty. So now that they've checked the box on those items, they've turned their attention back to developing the Wolfcaster games, guys. And last but not least, Fang. Fang, as you know, they recently re-released i said re-released because they did release it initially the beta version had some bugs and everything they had to rewrite everything from scratch now they re-released it recently over the last week or two and now that beta version is out working flawlessly you can actually buy um and trade or you can you, you can create buy and sell um your nfts on that marketplace and guess what? Best of all, you can transact using Saitama to make it possible. So that is yet another utility for the Saitama community to hang their hats on that Saitama is building those blocks to be something special during the next bull run. Now, what I want to do is take you over here to look at this Crypto Fear and Greed Index, guys. This Crypto Fear and Greed Index essentially gives you a it gives you a temperature, if you will. It gives you sort of a sentiment on what the investors in the crypto market are feeling. So, you know, you see a range all the way ranging from extreme fear to fear, you know, all the way to extreme greed or greed. Now, as Warren Buffett puts it, when there is blood on the streets, now this is the crypto stream twist on it, but what he's saying essentially is when people are fearful, you be greedy. And when people are greedy, you be fearful. Now, I'm going to translate that into crypto stream talk. What we're essentially saying is right now, as we go over here to that fear and greed index, we see that it's in fear territory. This is the time you should be accumulating. If you believe in Saitama, if you believe in any other cryptos out there, this is the time for you to be accumulating. That means spending more money on the crypto. That means dollar cost averaging. That means essentially building your bag, guys. That's what it means, building that bag so that when the next bull run comes, 
you can back up the truck, fill your bags, and take it to the bank. That's essentially what that means. Now, going back to this whole thing about Saitama building for the next bull run to become a top crypto, you see, you got to understand, guys, if you go over here, we see at Coin Market Cap, we see all of these centralized um, exchanges that you can buy Saitama on. And one of the things I wanted you to focus on is this. You see this here? Deep coin. Saitama was recently listed on Deep coin. If we go back over here to Twitter, when the announcement came out as of the official trading date, I understand that the announcement was made prior to this official trading date. But this is the date I want to focus on. This is the go live with the trading pair um, for Saitama and USD Tether went live over at DeepCoin, which is a centralized exchange. That happened on October 12th. And I want to show you the effect of that. You see this? We've sorted this and uh, sorted it based on volume, trading volume. Would you look at this? DeepCoin is providing 947000 plus north of $947,000 worth of buys and sales in a 24-hour period. If we scroll down, that is more than any other centralized exchange that Saitama has been listed on. You have OKX, which is a big one that we were listed on. They're doing around 90 grand. Let's call it 90. Let's just shoot it at 90. But DeepCoin is coming in at $947,000, almost a million dollars being transacted and buys and sells Saitama in a 24-hour period. Guys, what do you think if we get listed on other centralized exchanges like Binance, like Crypto.com, like Qcoin, like places of that nature, Robinhood, you know, because Robinhood's, they're trying their best now to break into having more cryptos launch because they saw that they missed the boat on Shiba Inu because they were late to the party, but they make their money on transacting fees. And so they want to make their money on hot cryptos. Now, one of the other things I wanted to show you is this, and this is going to bring us on home for this discussion. We see here that our developers continue to work on behalf of us, the investors of Saitama. We have Russ, who is the COO of Saitama. He goes by Saitama Guru, if you're new to the cryptocurrency Saitama. And he put this tweet out. He said, headed to D.C. to the embassy tomorrow morning for Visa Stamp, then Miami for a few days for meetup, then to another continent. Huge meeting with the entire We Are Saitama development team and some extremely powerful people. We will push Saitama and more importantly, Web3, which is AKA the metaverse, to real world adoption. Now, what is this other country that they're talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, they're talking about Africa. The developers have always mentioned that they wanted to have a strong tie to Africa for those folks over there to be adopting crypto. Let that sink in. So with all of these utilities and all of these things that the developers have been doing and working on in a bear market, by the way, because a lot of projects out there. Remember, Saitama started off as a meme token, a meme coin. It is not a meme anymore. But there are a lot of other cryptocurrencies out there, you know, that were hot and heavy during a bull run. But you are not hearing anything, no movement, no traction during this bear market. Ladies and gentlemen, during a bear market, that's when millionaires are made. If you want to be a millionaire, like they used to say back in the day, who wants to be a millionaire? I do. You do. Everybody does. On this channel, we teach you to create generational wealth for you and your family. And I believe Saitama is one of those cryptocurrencies that may very well be a blue chip, meaning a top 10, top 20, top 50 cryptocurrency in the next bull run cycle. I've laid the case, guys. I've laid the good news as to why I believe Saitama is laying those bricks. They are laying those bricks for a better tomorrow for your investing future. Thank you so much for tuning in to the crypto stream. Remember to continue to invest with a purpose so that you can create generational wealth for you and your family. And we will be back to you guys in the near future when breaking news comes out, which I believe will be real soon.